Hey everybody, welcome to a very special edition of Utopia Podcast. I am CDJ. Joining me tonight as a very special guest from EAC, EA Canada, Sean Campbell, producer of NCA Basketball 10. He focused on presentation this year. First off, Sean, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am doing awesome. The game, I've never seen this many people talking about the game before, which I think is a very good sign for EA. Well, how did you end up working at EA Sports? It's a, a job that I think a lot of people would like to have. Seems like a very cool job working on you know, a video game, a college basketball game. How did you end up there, and what are some other projects you may have worked on leading up to this? I got my start at EAC in the marketing department. I was on the product marketing team. Um, started off on NBA Live 08. was a member of the marketing team for Live 08, March Madness 08 and a little bit on NHL. After that year, just in, you know, my contact and work with the dev team and everyone working on the two basketball titles, just developed a good relationship with the guys and they saw my passion for basketball and was just lucky enough that the stars aligned and a spot opened up as my contract in marketing was expiring and I was lucky enough to be offered a job as a assistant producer on uh, for NCAA Basketball 09. And so I guess that was my first title that I was able to work on from a production standpoint, just sort of doing everything, trying to learn the ropes as a first-year producer and um, worked my way up to this year for 10, where I was given the task of handling the presentation for NCAA Basketball 10. So I was definitely very lucky, and but also very, uh, very happy to be where I'm at. What's the best part of working for a big company like EA Sports? People envision it being pretty glamorous and a lot of interaction with athletes, but what's it really like? And with that, what are some of the unique things that have come along with that? It is a pretty interesting and uh, interesting place to work. I don't know if glamorous is the right term. I mean, the campus and the sort of the environment is very unique and pretty glamorous, but you know, it's it's still a job, and there's it's still you know there's still a lot of demands and um, a lot of responsibility and a lot of uh, pressure to deliver on and be innovative. But I think really the best part about it is just you know I get to do something that I really enjoy and that I really have a passion for, and that's basketball as well as video game. It's just a match made in heaven for me personally, being able to do those two things as a part of my day to day. I guess some of the other really cool things about working there are just the fact that I get to not only do those things, but just try and be a, be creative and be innovative and get to work with people who want to do those things too in a basketball context. So that really makes it very rewarding and very satisfying. And the stress and the craziness that comes with being that this type of job is sort of made a little easier um, by the fact that it's you know, something that I really do enjoy doing and get to work with such amazing people. I think the unique parts of the job, definitely, like you mentioned, athletes, you know, getting to meet athletes. Um, it, it's not really, you know, it, there's not always people coming in there. It's not a steady stream of people stopping through. We are in Vancouver, um, so it's a little out of, out of the way for uh, some of the, the marquee uh, sports markets. But I have, with that said, I have got to meet some some really amazing people. Dominique Wilkins is probably my number one athlete that I've got to meet. I got to hang out with him when I was in marketing, and he was doing some interviews up in Vancouver and wanted to come hang out at EAC. So I got to take him around and and talk hoops with him, which was which was amazing. You know, just being able to play basketball at, every day at work. We have a a full NBA size court that and we have a good group of guys who, who love hoops on both the basketball team and other teams at uh, at EAC so being able to be designing basketball games and then playing hoops and working out is is pretty unique and I think the last sort of unique thing that to, to working at EAC is just being a part of like a video game team you know like it sounds uh, pretty cool, and it's it's a lot of fun getting to work and design a video game with all these amazing people from software engineers to animators to artists to modelers to, to you name it. Everything that takes that's put into a game all require amazing people, and just getting to, to be around them as a part of my job is, is very unique, and I'm, I'm very lucky. What was it like last year when you went on the toughest places to play tour? I know I saw a picture of you at UCLA with their cheer squad. I mean, that, <laughs> that looked pretty interesting and fun to me. What was it like going to the campuses, and did you hear a lot of stuff from the students? Oh, you're EA Sports. Did they razz yeah. you and say, oh, we'd make our team better next year, or did you have anything like that? Oh, yeah, you definitely get that. You get that from the pros, you know. Um, I remember hearing stories from some of the producers that I would talk about, their experiences with going to the All-Star game. And the second someone hears that you work on NBA Live, they were all over you telling them to 
to hook up their ratings or questioning why their speed rating was this, their dunk rating was that. But uh, no, the reception at um, that we got at the campuses was uh, was really amazing. People just they always have suggestions and trying to make their school unique or better. But it's it's good to get out there and get some perspective on just how many people are are looking to you to develop a, a really good game. You kind of lose lose a bit of that when you're when you're in it all the time and it's just a part of your day-to-day but when you go you know to to the states and and to different cities like everyone knows ea sports knows the brand knows the quality and expects big things and it's it's refreshing and it's it's a nice perspective change and refresher to understand just how big a part play in sports games and it's a nice motivator to uh to get to interact with fans and student at uh students of uh, especially in NCAA basketball getting to see what they want and what they feel and it was a lot of fun going to visit those different campuses just getting that taste of of college basketball up close and personal was was amazing NC Basketball 09 saw the NBA Live engine brought over. It gave the franchise new life after using the old engine for so many years. After NC Basketball 09, which was very well received, and personally I considered it the most improved sports game out of the 09 titles in the 2008 calendar year, what was the main focus of the team from 09 coming into 10? Well, like you said, it was integration of the NBA Live engine. It was really focusing on how we can continue to leverage all the improvements in that engine while at the same time differentiating ourselves in terms of gameplay because that gameplay is king in sports games and we need to be able to deliver a quality college basketball gameplay experience. So that that was again the focus in 10 as well as really diving into what it is community wants, what it is that people want. I think we did a lot of, spent a lot more time focusing on on that aspect of trying to improve the game. And I think we were able to, to really do that with our other main focus, which was the presentation. You know, people have been, been wanting for broadcast graphics, broadcast integration in a sports game, especially since we have ESPN license. And this year we were in the position to do that and nailing that presentation and and that aspect of college basketball, which is super important to the community and to sports gamers was the other main focus for us this year, which really helped sort of complete the experience, I think, when when put together with gameplay to really get to that top-notch level of authentic college basketball. I'm going to ask you a a two-pronged question here. Take it any direction you want to go here. The first part of it, and I know you said you started working on NCAA basketball for 09 and then 10, so a relative new guy. The first part of the question is, what's kind of the main goal or defining focus for the team on a year-in, year-out basis? And to go with that, how big of a challenge is it as a developer when you have so many pockets and markets of people you're trying to reach? You have the crowd who wants a real solid simulation game. You have a crowd who, when it comes to college and even pros for that matter, as long as their team is represented correctly with logo, mascot, stadium, court, etc., they're fine with it. And you have also the main goal of making it fun since it is a video game. How challenging is it to go through and comb and figure out and narrow it down and say, this is what we're going to do for this year in this game? Well, that's a really good question. It is it is a challenge because you're, you're trying to figure out, like you said, what do all people want? You know, some people are going to want more depth or less depth in different areas, and, and they're going to want different elements of those, so those things to behave differently. But like I mentioned before, the gameplay and the presentation are something that everybody who plays the game is going to interact with and see, and it's going to affect their experience with the game. So that, I think, is you know where we put most of our time. That's where we define our focus, is nailing the core, nailing the basics in to a really high level, and that will hopefully make everybody happy. And then the supporting features, the more hardcore features, the art, the depth in all the, the other areas, you know, I, I think we, we do spend a lot of time on, on nailing that again to an, a high level, and hopefully that can appease and, and um, meet the expectations of, of the people who have more hardcore simulation um, expectations of the game. 